Hi and welcome to Cafe Management System Developed Using HTML Okay, just like all the other Cafe Management System I developed earlier So let me just show you how this works It works, it's going to work exactly the same way But the truth is this one, this very one is incomplete Which I'm going to leave with you guys to complete if you want using HTML okay in here I have a checkbox and here this is all supposed to be text box checkbox and a text box this is a text box as well just like the ones I developed in Visual Basic C++ Java and uh, I think I also developed one in uh, C Sharp okay let me show you guys the codes now let's come straight in here so right here as usual for those of you who are expert in using HTML I've used my HTML there and I have head there all within the tags and I also have a title that's the title of my program or my project and in here the header is closed okay right underneath the head I have a style sheet there just like a CSS style sheet but in this case I'm using it for my heading right here you can see h1 and the h1 is right here then above it is the color the background color and this color is supposed to represent gray sort of like light gray and here if you notice I have a page for my title then the title is centered and that's the head in there is bold underline and so on now right underneath I have a table and within that table I have my very first row inside the first row I then have one column the size of the text in that very column is H2 and in there I have an input the input type is a checkbox and this is supposed to be my array the array and the name is array I intend to use this array to carry out the calculation if I decide to complete this whole project okay if you guys notice the very first drink here is supposed to be iced cappuccino followed by American coffee, African coffee, veil coffee, uh, coffee, cappuccino, um, iced latte, espresso and latte. That is my very first column right there up to here. Now the second column within that rule that is it right here this second column is just a text box and that's the text box there for each of these item here then I also have a third column inside the third column the type of cakes that are, that are on the system or that are being sold okay then I then have a text box if you guys look at these cakes that are sold, we actually use checkbox as well. Okay, and here I have my variables. This variable, uh, sorry, the array. This array here is known as cakes, which is now complete, like I said earlier on. Now we have the text box. So if you guys want, you can always give it a try and have a go at it. Maybe you can complete it. But right here, I do have a text box this text box is where I would display all of this information when selected or if selected by the user okay guys and uh, finally here I have that's where I've closed the table and here I have an horizontal line or horizontal rule the color is black and right here I have this way I close the body and close the body of the HTML so those are all of the cakes 
like I said earlier on okay and here I have all the copies so whatever I selected goes straight into the text box here and this text box as well right here so what I will do now is let's run it again let's just run it so that you guys see how it works okay run the program and right there and underneath here you can see the horizontal ruler there or the horizontal line okay so you can always complete it it's incomplete you can complete it and do whatever you like with it alright so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoyed so you have a nice day now and bye for now